Okay, so here we are. This is the beginning of something new, so I thought I would make an occasion of it. We just finished doing some smudging. This is the new improved Ikipu production studio, and I'm very happy about how things have been going since the pandemic in the sense that uh, it's made me get off my ass and do shit. Anyways, the end of the world sort of makes me gives me pause to celebrate, so here we are. Uh, welcome to Mel Havoc's new studio, Ikipu Productions studio, and I'm going to christen it right now and uh, reveal I have a surprise for myself to sort of make me want to be in this room because I hate work even when it's working on music. And so I'm trying to inspire myself and I did something and I'll tell you the story about it right now. And hopefully I'll do some videos uh, the next three weeks. I got three weeks to finish the Mel Havoc record, the new Mel Havoc record, Mask of the Red Death, coming out on Deadly Blessings Records. And uh, I've been doing a lot of work with a couple of local new Toronto metal labels and you'll hear about it over the next few weeks. I can't put much time into editing and correcting and doing these videos so I don't know how much I'll do if I get bogged down with working on the record I might not you might not see me again for a while but hopefully I'll do a video at least one a week I'm hoping anyways I got three four weeks to finish the record and I'll get you guys inside if you said you want to get inside so but this is my time right now and I'm gonna tell you a story about uh, what I love the most which is horror movies and I love horror I don't know why from a very early age I just watch, love watching people die and Texas Chainsaw is obviously one of the greatest movies ever and me living in Canada in a province of Canada called Ontario in the 80s and even earlier we had these really bad government conservative government and they used to censor horror movies especially horror movies uh, would be cut down and a lot of scenes would be removed so at a very early age when I learned to drive I would drive to Buffalo to go see my favorite horror movies in the way they were meant to be seen uncensored let's face it censorship does not work prohibition does not work I've always been against those things, so I used to go down to Buffalo and enjoy horror movies the way they were meant to be seen uncensored. And one of the greatest movies, memories I ever have of doing this, or the greatest I have about going to Buffalo to see a great horror movie, was of course Texas Chainsaw 2, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And um, when I remember going to the screening in Buffalo and you know completely being blown away at how great the movie was, the opening weekend, and I remember going to the theater and I remember how great the movie poster was for the movie. And then of course when it came out on video in Canada and everything, um, they were everywhere I went, you'd see the uh, this poster, the breakfast club edition of the it's a great poster don't get me wrong that is a great poster but i just kept telling people no no, no there's a poster when i played the theaters that i just was i thought was one of the greatest movie posters i ever saw and it took me literally i don't even remember what year this is but it literally took me 30 years to find a copy of that poster anyways guess what's in the bag guess what we're going to christen the new studio with today yes i got a copy of that poster and i spent the most i've ever spent as you can see this one i framed myself and it looks like crap. Well, here we go. The first time I spent more than 200 bucks framing a poster. Let's reveal it. This is the new poster going on the wall in the new Icky Poo Havoc studio. Let's do it. Let's see if I can... How can I do this properly? Oh. My. I think... Wow. Fucking amazing. All right, let's make that record now, eh? Let's get this going. Let's get the party fucking started.